thank you for visiting UT Bridal. For this tutorial, we will be creating the beaded daisy sprays and then adding it on to complete the Teresa hair comb we created in part one. So here are the ordinaries you will need in order to complete this project. If you need more time, feel free to press pause and review the list. First, you're going to print out the pattern available in the description box below. Next, cut the wire at 20 inches long and then bend it at the halfway mark, which is at 10 inches. You are now going to add six purls onto the wire and then allow it to slide to the bend in the wire. At this point, we are going to use the pattern as a reference. And you will notice that the purls are labeled one through six. Now take one end of the wire and slide it into and through all six purls. Once it gets to the other end, pull the wire and then allow it to bend and then slowly form the daisy. You're going to take the wire you just pulled and insert it through purl number one and number two. Next, add your rhinestone onto the wire and then pull the wire over and lay it between purl number five and number six, which is also half of the daisy. Now insert that wire into and through purl number six. Pull the wire to straighten it out and twist it about two times and you are now complete with your first daisy. Now add six purls to the longest wire and you are basically going to repeat the process by taking one end of the wire and then sliding it into and through all six purls. Pull the wire and then allow the daisy to form and the wire should end up on top. Take that top wire and insert it into purl number one and number two. Because I'm right-handed, I will flip the flowers over um, to make it easier for myself. Remember to straighten out the wire as you pull it through so that it doesn't tangle and make it difficult um, to pull it through. Once complete, just flip the daisy around and match it up to the pattern. Now you're going to add the rhinestone and then pull the wire over and lay it in between purl number five and number six. Again, it is just the halfway mark of the daisy. Now take that wire and put it into and through purl number five. Take the other wire and put it into and through purls number six, then number five. Both of the wires should meet up and then all you have to do is twist the daisies and secure. Again, add six purls to the longer wire. Slide the wire through all the beads and then allow it to form the daisy. The wire should end up on top. Now slide the rhinestone on and place the wire between purls number three and number four, which is half of the daisy. Now pull the wire through purl number four. Next, take the other wire and put it into and through purl number six and then number five to meet up the wires. Then just twist the daisies and the wires until you get to the very end and you are now complete with the first daisy spray. For the second spray, you will cut the wire at 15 inches, then bend it at the halfway mark, which is 7 and a half inches. And using the pattern, just repeat steps 1 through 12. You are now complete with two daisy sprays. Take the three daisy spray and flip it over to the back. Then bend the wire behind and lay it onto two daisies. Next, trim off the excess wire. Take the two daisy spray and do the same thing. Flip it over and lay it behind the two daisies and then trim off the excess. To complete the Teresa hair comb, we are going to add glue to the comb and lay the three daisy spray onto the comb. Add glue to the rest of the comb, then lay the two daisy spray on, and you are now complete with the Teresa hair comb. Thank you for visiting Utique Bridal. I hope you get inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. To create part one of the Teresa hair comb, or to view bridal wear tutorials, please click on one of the gold glitter buttons.